Hi, I'm Michonne. In this tutorial, I will help you to create an awesome Flash analog clock using ActionScript on Flash. For attempting this tutorial, it is required for you to have a basic knowledge of Flash and ActionScript. You will need to have Flash 8 or anything higher installed on your computer to create this analog clock. After opening a new Flash document, you need to modify the dimensions of the stage. You can either just click the size in the properties panel underneath or you can go to modify and documents. Make sure the dimensions of both this is 300 pixels which is the width and the height is also 300 pixels. Hit the OK key and to get to this window you can also use the hot key which is Control J. There should already be one layer on your screen, and but you need to add four more. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. And you need to rename the layers. The one all the way at the bottom should be named Clock. The one just above it, Seconds. Seconds. Above, above that minutes, then hours, and all the way at the top, action. Okay, now you need a frame or background for the clock, which you should insert in the clock layer. So go to File, Import, Import the Stage. I've already got a clock which I saved in my pictures, which I got off the internet actually. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. For your clock frame, you need to change some of the properties in the properties panel again. And for the width, it's 300 and same for the height. And you need to change X to 0 and Y to 0 also. You can now lock the clock layer as we won't be needing to use it again. So y you can do that by just clicking this black dot right here. Now we can start working on the hands of the clock. First we'll do the hours hand. So click on the hours layer, grab the line tool which is on the side tools bar, and draw a vertical line. I'm just going to minimize the properties panel. Select the line and in the properties panel, we need to make a few changes. Change H to 60. And we also need to change the color. The stroke color, which we can change in this box, needs to be hash which with six threes. And then press enter. Not only that, we need to change the alpha also. The alpha needs to be 70, which is already done over here. One more thing we need to change is the cap, which we can't see over here, so I need to maximize this. And the cap, you should select the square key. I'm going to minimize this again. And now we need to change the line into a movie symbol. So I right click and then click convert to symbol. In type I select the movie clip key and the registration point should be center to the bottom as it is selected over here. And we need to change the name of it to hours MC and MC should be capital and hit the OK key. Keep the line selected and go back to the properties window and change the instance name. It is important that you get the spelling of this right otherwise this it will mess up later I when we insert the actions. So change the name to ours MC again with MC capital and press enter. Now you should
center the line so it's right in the middle of the clock where we want it. To do this, you just use the align tab over here and align it right to the center. Press the distribute button in the center and center it to stage. Now that the arrow's hand is completed, we can move on to the minutes hand. Again, we'll click on the minutes layer, grab the line tool, create a line, and now we're ready to, again, play around with the properties a bit to make it fit for the clock. So, in the properties, we need to select the line and then the properties will show up in which we need the color to be the same but we need to change H to 90 and then press enter and all the other things need to be all the other properties need to be the same as in the hours clock which is still the same and now we're ready to convert this hand into a movie symbol. So again I go to convert the symbol and this time I have to name it Minutes MC. And the type is still movie clip and the registration point is center to bottom. Hit the OK key and I'm ready to align it to the center. So I press align, center, distribute to the center, and to stage. Finally, for the seconds hand, I click the seconds layer, the line tool, draw a line, and go to the properties window. Select the line, and I'm changing H, so it's 115, and it'll be the longest line since it's the seconds hand, but this time I need to change the color since often the seconds hand has a different color and um, so I'm going to change it to hash 99FF00 which will give me a nice lime green color and I press enter. Now I convert this hand also to a movie symbol and I name it seconds underscore I'm sorry seconds MC and I press the OK key with the other properties the same now I need to change the instance name of both the minutes and the seconds hand so I go back to the minutes layer click on the actual line and I name that one minutes underscore MC all in small letters then I click on the seconds layer and select the line and give that an instance name of seconds underscore MC and press enter now I'm ready to put in my actions in order for the clock to move and that I do, I'll just minimize this, in my actions layer, I click on the first frame. In the properties panel, I click actions dash frame, and I'm ready to, to add the code. There's a standard co code for analog clocks, and in this case, I got it from www.tutorial5.com forward slash content forward slash view forward slash 130 forward slash 46 forward slash so I'm just gonna paste it in I copied it from the site and I'm pasting it in and I press the enter key and my actions are ready all I need to do now is align my uh, align to the center my seconds hand which I do in the same way and it's red I can just press control enter and my clock will start ticking